What's up, whiskey drinkers? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I ordered myself this bottle of Lead Slingers whiskey, Lead Slingers bourbon. Um, you, if you are watching this video, you'll probably already know about this. This is Matt Best and the boys uh, down at Article 15 Clothing or whatever, releasing their uh, brand of whiskey. And I just wanted it to support those guys. The bottle looked cool. I wanted to add it to my own whiskey collection. And I just wanted to show it to you. This isn't going to be a review of the whiskey, but I will give you a little teaser of something that I'm doing with it. Um, so it's a square-ish bottle. It's pretty cool. The cork here is plastic, and uh, the cork portion is even plastic, although it looks like actual cork. But that's pretty common on whiskeys, and especially even the Japanese, high-end Japanese whiskeys, uh, the cork is plastic and the, the cap is plastic. Um, but one of the things that was pretty cool is they have this kind of brown bag paper label. I actually like it. I saw in some of the original pictures of the Ledslinger's whiskey, it was a clear label with this uh, this graphic printed on it so it kind of looked cool um, I'm kind of against the clear labels generally because they kind of don't age well and they kind of look a little janky if you want to print with paint right on the glass that's cool so I'm kind of glad they went with this brown uh, paper label the other thing that's cool is that the back label here not only has the veteran owned Letzlinger's whiskey information but uh, the inside of the back label has an American flag printed on it, so you can see it uh, through the whiskey, you know, real patriotic dudes. And this whiskey hasn't been around a long time. It hasn't, it doesn't have an age statement, obviously. I think, you know, it's probably been aged for a couple years, potentially. Uh, but it is a product of uh, Scissor Tail Distillery in Moore, Oklahoma. This is available in a lot of stores, at least according to their website, a lot of retailers in the in the southern areas. But for me in the Midwest, I actually had to pay a pretty penny to get it. It took a long time. And uh, ironically, despite it being a pretty affordable whiskey, this is actually now one of the most expensive whiskeys I own. Um, you can see here by what I have left in the bottle, the color is you know, fairly light. It's kind of a nice golden caramel color. And what I am doing with this is I have mentioned that because it's kind of more of a drinkable value whiskey, uh, I wanted to take it and I assumed that it was going to be pretty good. The reviews are pretty good on it, but I wanted to go ahead and age and oak it myself. And so I have bought uh, one of these charred spiral wooden uh, dowels and put it in half of the uh, Lead Slingers whiskey. Then I also used toasted oak chips and uh, put it with the other half of the whiskey. So I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison. So if you're interested in tasting the original untainted, un, un, untouched whiskey versus the oak spiral versus the oak chips, uh, check out my other video on it because I'm going to see, you know, did I ruin the whole thing or did I make it better? We'll find out. So Peter Von Panda for the Lead Slingers bourbon whiskey. Pretty excited to try it out. Haven't even tasted it yet. Out!